question. Okay, play the audio. Factory? Play your audio so they can hear the Left side by side. Right. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me see it. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, they probably just made $15 million doing that. I was like, like, what do y'all do? And he was like, I'm an influencer. I mean, I'm like, He actually answered, I'm an influencer? Yes. Right. I said, how do you make money? I've never understood it. He was like, you know how there's like Beyonce and Jay-Z, famous people for music? He's like, well, we're famous for social media. I'm like, so people follow y'all just to watch your life? And then he was like, yeah. I was like, okay, sign me up. We're in West Hollywood going to a TikTok house called The Vault, in which uh, six people produce content of some sort for 1.5 million followers. Now, I don't know what TikTok is, or if I download it, I suspect it'd be an Amber Alert because I'm too old for this sort of thing. But I need to find out what these people are doing and how they're making money. They're forgoing college and they're forgoing high school. To move to LA, you make a ton of money by dancing on TikTok. It was just before noon when I arrived at Vault House. That is good. That'll be good content. And its young occupants had only just peeled themselves from bed, assembling for the day's writer's room, which featured no writers and took place on a couch. Let's start morning meeting now. Hello. Focus. Hello. We have hella heads today. What are what, we yeah, doing? Yeah, but we're gonna have Balo and Swag Boy Q overs. We should do this. I think Kira should do a kiss or slap. I'm not doing that. They are sick of me kissing people. No, they're it's not. Boring. They ask for it every time. Kira and Trey kissing. Yeah. One can be don't bring a girl home or a boy okay. home. Oh, yes, yes. And then one can be don't lose the group. Can you write these down because you're going to forget and then I'm going to be very upset. Escalating, girl. Yeah. I don't have any idea what's happening. What's poppin' chicken nugget? Babe, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up! I didn't want to go to the party to party. I wanted to go to the party to scare bitches. For the past few years, TikTok has been the fastest growing social media platform in the world. It currently boasts around a billion active users. And its astonishing growth was facilitated by crisis. During those long months of compelled COVID hibernation, TikTok was the most downloaded app in the world. A platform famous for its ubiquitous dance trends became a sort of gateway drug for Gen Zs and younger millennials. Those disinclined to flailing on camera sought notoriety on different terms. It's to give me that money back. TikTok became a vast repository of makeup tutorials, unlicensed psychotherapy, questionable financial advice, and boorish humor. Potato salad. Having a more female-based audience makes you more money. Can you explain to me what I was watching? TikTok is all run by like our age range. Who's the youngest person? How old are you? Can I 18. You're 18. Oh, so that's the youngest. Mm -hmm. None of you are from LA, is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you get here? Uh, an old member that used to live here invited me just yeah. to come, like, stay and hang out. And that's somebody you knew through TikTok? Right, right. Somebody yeah. on TikTok. They offered to trial me, like, to see if I would be a fit for the house. I mean, does everybody remember that first time that somebody was like, I want to pay you for the shit that you do? I thought people were just doing videos for fun. Yeah. Just go, like, viral. I had people asking to do what? Me to do what their videos, and they'll pay me. And I'm like... Like $250, and I was working. What were you doing at the time? I was working at uh, FedEx. Slightly better than working at FedEx, isn't it? Oh, way better. So on your own TikTok account before you came here, like how many followers did you have? Uh, before I came out here, I had like 700,000. Right. Well, now I have 1.3 mil. But so you guys all have your own individual accounts still? Mm -hmm. And are you posting to those too? Yes. Yeah. We just have to figure out how to keep everyone in their content. Everyone's niche is completely different. What's your niche? I just stand in front of the camera and I just <laughs> blink. I really do. You're good at standing in front of the camera. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Sometimes they like me to stand in front of the camera with Spence. Or sometimes they request I stand in front of the camera with my leg. And so if I, they want that, I'm like, OK, well, here's us. Who's they? The people watching. Who has the biggest following? Yeah. How big is your following? Right now, I have 4.1 mil. I'm sorry, about that? 
4.1? You know that's the size of Ireland. It's about 4 million, the population of Ireland. How would you explain your appeal on TikTok? I'm just known as a scary chick on TikTok. She's actually talented. Let's rip this bitch off. The most successful video I have right now is like at 68. Million views right now. I'm sorry, 68 million views? Yeah. yeah I'm sorry, what is it? It's just me like transforming, like turning into like a monster. Let's crush them. How is that monetized, the 68 million? Even if it's fractions of a penny, that's a I'm, ton of money. I actually didn't get paid for that video. I didn't get paid for that video. Can you leave the number of your manager here so I can fire them for you? How do you make money? A lot of promo. <laughs> Wait, 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 so you're not promoing your own stuff, you're promoing... No, that's like, all, yeah. People's songs. People's songs, products. I have this one, like, inexclusive manager who um, gives me sound promos, like songs. So, like, he's probably my biggest, like, income. Is that C taken? That's my lap. And as a manager, they take a cut, and they take like 15%? 50, I feel like. 50? Yeah. yeah I don't really? Know. Agencies will sucker these kids that come from Nebraska or Ohio or like- Wait, isn't someone here from Nebraska? Him, that's why I said yeah. it. So there's yeah, like yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of exploitation in this world, right? Because most of the people are pretty young. Yeah. And don't have a ton of experience. It's like a pretty fertile ground for ripping people off. Right. But you guys make pretty good money, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? For the most part, yeah. Just so you're not identifying yourself and what you make, what's like a range yeah, honestly, depends. It depends you, on the person you know, and what your content is. A lot of money, right? It all depends on the engagement at the end of the day. Because I know people that have 5 mil followers, but I know people with 200k that still have better views than them. Yeah, and they get paid more. They get paid more. Like if I have like 2 mil and Spence has 1 mil and my engagement is like 200,000 a bit, but his engagement is a million a bit, he's going to get more random than me yeah. because he's going to get pushed out more. I mean, it's kind of exhausting, though, isn't it? Do you guys ever feel like, I don't want to do this anymore? No, because I know it's better. <laughs> Literally, two answers right next to each other. No, yes. I know if I'm not doing this, I'm in Nebraska, bored off my ass, oh, from working at 95. Okay, so what's today? What's the, what's the rest of the day look like? Yeah, we have some guests coming over, some other creators. Yeah. Is, that, is that normal? That you have, yeah. like, cross-pollination between other houses and things like that? Yes. Oh, what's the secret you never told your ex? The world of influencers is competitive, bitchy, and incestuous. I mean, you chicken. A reality show spread across dozens of Southern California zip codes. And my first day sequestered in a TikTok house featured an impromptu gathering of LA-based TikTok celebrities. Okay, then we're gonna just go. Let's go. I don't have time for this. I'm not waiting for them. None of whom sparked even the faintest recognition. It was like being present for the recording of a teenage "We Are the World," but with more bling and no charity. Yeah, my thing is just like ideas. That's the hardest thing, just coming up with ideas that like no one else does, just making them hard. Okay, one more time for the outfit, guys. But even their real life social engagements are for the benefit of social media. One I forever trained on follower counts. Woo! That's a lot of work. Okay. So you increased 15 million in the past year. What? on earth did you do to do that? And can you write it down in a small note card for me to do? Basically, like, there's like a married couple or a couple, yeah. or it doesn't matter. And I'll be like, hey, like, I'll pay you $10,000 if you let me kiss your girl right now. Can I give a girl a kiss for $10,000 in cash? No, look, stop, we're not doing that. Huh? We're not doing that. Do you actually no? pay them? I mean, nine times ten of them were through on it. So look, I got this guy right here on Instagram. Do you know who this is? That's my boyfriend. Well, a lot of guys don't sell their girls for <laughs> money. Last and final offer, I got $50,000. This is my last time telling you. Just for a kiss. On the lips? On the lips. Okay. All right. Yo, 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 chill. 50 k with me. I mean, kissing is not, that's not that big of a deal. No, it's for 10 grand. The shit that I would do for 10 grand, I mean, good Lord. Crazy, right? Whether your talent is paying women to make out with you or just being moderately attractive on camera, the influencer is always thinking about posting. Once you build a following, the key to retaining it is a steady stream of content. Yes, the dog has to be in it. Oh, sure. no in our short you. attention span age and on a short attention span app, a lull in production and you'll quickly be overtaken and forgotten. Those seemingly candid moments are often artfully choreographed. 
and countless takes are performed in order to get the videos just right. Hey, one more time. Much of what they film never makes it to their feed, but the feed must be constantly fed. All right, take 10. The life of the influencer might look like one big vacation, but I'm repeatedly told, successful TikTok personalities take no time off. And vacations are only possible if sponsored by a brand. All right, let's rock and roll. Go ahead, Spencer. Spin, spin, spin. It's only eight seconds, Poppy, get it. We want to get the logo in the shot first. Michelle Vanius is the brains behind Vault House. Three, two, one. It's Vanius who recruits the talent, signs them to her TikTok agency, and moves them into one of her half dozen TikTok houses. Good job, that looked good. How did you land on the TikTok influencer beat? So I was a little familiar having come doing social media, web development. My daughter started a YouTube at like 13. I recognized very quickly that this was just basically celebrity endorsements, yeah. but on a different level. And I saw how much money it was. We decided to focus on Gen Z. We had already been doing brand campaigns on TikTok since 2018, way before anyone was even paying attention to that platform. And then COVID hit. We were able to double the agency during COVID in 2020. I mean, you're much more captive audience in those times. I mean, literally captive in a lot of- They were growing fast. You know, it was still cheaper than yeah. Instagram and YouTube. And we started a content house in April. Everybody can post, but no one has four walls who do traditional product placement like we do. So you might have a roster of influencers, but I got influencers in the house. Mm -hmm. You just sounded like a prison warden. <laughs> I've got them on. You captive. have them captured. <laughs> In well, this one house. It was COVID. You yeah, can't go no. anywhere. I come to you and I want to be one of your clients. Who yeah, do you need I, I me need to be? I need this not to be a hobby. Okay. I need this to be your priority. And because we invest in the younger generation, because we know how 10 times their revenue will income will be generated when they start getting married and start having kids, then they can work with the Home Depots and the Target, which is where the real money is. If I can maintain your production, our investment in the Gen Z is going to pay full 10 times when they become adults. We want influencers who want to be great, yeah. not just influencers who want a number. Right? You pay them well? They get paid well. So you don't pay them? We are not employers. Yes. Is this some kind of Uber thing, like a contract thing? <laughs> I know what's going on. No, we're, we're helping to manage their careers, right? Brands pay them. What's the average person making a year? The smallest sponsorship we've done for a house is 20000 20000 a month for a three-month commitment will get you some piece of content or something out of the housemates in that house. Twin Flames, where we are today, they're just launching. But they've already made money for house deals before we even launched yeah. the house. God, because you're inviting dysfunction with that couple's house, aren't you? <laughs> no, this is the reality. This is what these kids are already doing. This house, Twin Flames, is for couples. Babe! Oh, hi. Hey, you can up? imagine, in an era of ubiquitous reality television, why such an arrangement would appeal to Nichelle. Josh and Starr just moved into Twin yeah. Flames. See? What do you mean, yeah, that's awful, bro? That's so you're a TikTok couple. Yeah. How many followers do you have? I have like 10.4 million. Why? Huh? How did, why you guys over? He taught me how to like make a video blow up and we kind of just learned the Cause format. Cause she was never familiar with TikTok. She wasn't even on the platform. Well, I always wanted to blow up anyway, so I probably would have figured it out, but I probably wouldn't have been at 10 mil right now. Do you make any money from that? A lot of money comes from brand deals. For me, like, social media is maybe 20% of what I do. Like, I also do website businesses, e-commerce. I do real estate. You couldn't do that without the money from social media, right? Oh, yeah. Social media is literally what provided all of that for me. So it was like, essentially for you, it was like seed capital started a company, right? Yes. I think social media helped me get signed to a management and get my music career, like, started. Why did you choose to move into this house? When we like first were dating, um, I had a place in Glendale, and that place cost like four thousand a month. So I'm like, you know what? Instead of like paying four thousand a month, I'd rather come here, keep, save fifty yeah, grand save, for a yeah. year. Yeah, 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 exactly. And and yeah. do you know the other people that have moved into the house, or there are yeah. people moving in, right? Yeah, not everyone's moved in. Yeah, we have a new couple moving in, Danny and Lynn, because our other couple left. 
and they were no good? The guy was just like, oh, yeah. What is it like living in a house that's not only with just two other couples, but under the microscope all the time, always having to perform? I love it. You love it? I love it. I love it. Yeah. You want more people like wanting to know about your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, want, I want to see them just like flood the DMs. <laughs> so that's, you want fame. Yeah. yeah. I think it's refreshing that you admit it. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna lie. What is it about fame that makes you want it so badly? I think it's like making money, just being yourself in a way. I don't like working, like, to be honest, I don't like working like hard, like hard working stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I like entertaining. I mm -hmm. like singing, I like dancing in front of the camera. Just be myself to an extent, even though I kind of have to fake it. I'm a Christian guy, like, I love God because like he's allowed this all to happen for me and I'll talk about all these different opportunities and try to get people into any opportunity that's available. What happens if it disappears? What do you do? It's probably devote my life to cats. To cats? <laughs> I really thought you were gonna say God, but you said cats. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Predictably, teenagers having fun and making money provoke the usual moral panic, with breathless headlines about the app precipitating a mental health crisis among teens. Pundits and politicians I, I, I called for regulation. Is, listen, I mean, TikTok is a platform that is basically a Trojan horse for the Chinese government. The Trump administration, throwing constitutional concerns to the wind, threatened to ban the app. We are looking at a lot of alternatives with respect to TikTok. And for the tens of thousands of newly minted TikTok professionals who monetize skill sets that most people didn't even know were considered skill sets, the moral panic became an existential panic. So there was this funny moment. It didn't look like it was actually going to happen where Donald Trump's like, I'm going to ban TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Like, pretend that happened. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Well, personally, I want to get into real estate and I want to start a few of my own businesses. So. This was never like my main focus. But for some people, it's for there. some people, it, I, I'm like, concerned for them. I'm honestly concerned for those really? that group. Molly's Parks League. Oh, okay. Because of the age group, it allows them to be like really immature. You know, there's no parents. Everyone's just kind of like living like adults, but like no one's actually an adult. There's never a moment where you're like, "What the f am I doing? Do you ever do that?" Um, I don't think I have the time to do that. I just have to. Deal with it. Do you make money? Yeah. For the work that you put in, it's definitely worth it. When you said the word work. You right, word, like I use that loosely. It's, yeah, it's work. It, it is yeah, work. Yeah, I mean it is though. Do yeah. you have a break from it? No. No. Never. Never. Yes! They're PDs, but they're black. And you get to pick one. They're not white anymore. Okay. But Michelle shrugs off the concerns. Your, your snake's a thief. I will be getting a big one eventually. <laughs> and puts her money where her mouth is. Her kids are TikTok influencers. TikTok is still new. Brands are still figuring it out. The younger generation are the ones that set the trends for pop culture. Why is there so much contempt for them doing that, though? There was a feeling when it was relegated to the athletes, the musicians, yeah. the actors, who could claim that sort of influence. Now when you open it up and you say anybody and everybody can do it, that puts a little more pressure on you to say, why can't you do it? Previous generations, including mine, you needed a degree. Even if you didn't have a college degree, you were gonna have some sort of technical training. Now you're back to Amy, who lives in Florida, and Amy is making more money than her parents wearing a bikini. That doesn't make everyone feel so good because then if Amy can do it, why can't you? For me, I went to University of Pennsylvania. I'm an Ivy League grad. I'm expecting that my kids are gonna go to top schools. Neither of my daughters decided to go to college. How do you feel about that? I know how much money this business makes. They can make six figures at an age that would have taken them getting a master's. Yeah, but if she has a Yale degree at 60 years old, she can make a ton of money. At this, at 60 years old, what is it? One or two things happens. You do this, you make a tons of money, you have parents like my daughters have, and they teach you about savings and yeah. investing, and you created your own trust fund. You've created generational wealth. You will continue to make wealth if you continue to be an influencer and you haven't burned out. Or you can make money, spend it all, 
and be washed out, right? Same way you could get a college degree and become addicted yeah. to something and, you know, wash out too, or... Again, are you talking about me? <laughs> This alien world, with its often incomprehensible rituals and nomenclature, exists to excite the neurons of teens and ultimately separate them from their parents' hard-earned money. But besides the rapid and often vapid content, it's pretty traditional. Attractive people with varying degrees of talent are lured to L.A. with dreams of fame. Some make it and some don't, and the ones who do are handsomely compensated. And after all, almost every influencer I spoke to dreamed of a career in traditional movies or on traditional television. There's nothing new in that sense. But there's one noticeable paradigm-shifting difference. Gatekeepers still exist, but there are fewer. No one approves scripts, no executives offer notes, no morons in suits demand moronic rewrites. And while perhaps some of this stuff could use an editor's pen, the content is perishable. It's quickly filmed and soon forgotten. The content doesn't exist to fill some artistic need, with financial compensation a flattering bonus. The content exists almost exclusively to lure the money, to achieve the fame for everyone to get paid. TikTok has made celebrity more democratic, but it also seems more aggressively commercial. Selling out is no longer an insult, it's the goal. If the content creators create pointless content, the only thing left is the personality, the influencer, the transitory fame of a human billboard. What are you paying me? What are you paying me? Quick, quick, quick. $10,000. $10,000. Please kiss it on the mouth. Give me your snake. But first, give it to You kiss him first. Nah, that's a white piece. You gonna be tempted? Oh, that man just made See, this is really how influencers make money on aimless bets. $10,000 made. Thanks, mom. Giant snake climbing on my body right now. Disgusting. Give him a kiss. No. Quick, give you, me a kiss. Get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. I'm Michael Learmonth, editor in chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. You and millions of others can continue to read, watch, and listen to Vice News for free. But we hope you'll consider making a one-time or ongoing contribution of any size at vice.com slash contribute. Every contribution, no matter how big or small, helps support the journalism Vice News brings to you every day. Thank you.